Today we're going to be working with Photoshop Elements 2018. Uh, we're going to learn how to use the lasso tool to isolate a particular area which masks the area that's not lassoed. <laughs> keeps, keeps that area from getting uh, overwritten and allows us to work within the lassoed area. Uh, we're going to use the cloning tool to copy into the area that we've lassoed to basically delete that area. Uh, we're going to use the uh, zoom tool and show you how to use it in and out uh, easily from the keyboard using the space bar to move an image around uh, while you're working on it. Uh, we'll be using the spot healing tool to get rid of the little spots and specks that, that may be on the image. Then we're going to get really brave and use the uh, Photoshop Elements Enhance tool to we're going to play with the auto uh, haze removal tool and the color correction tool and we're going to learn how to adjust the saturation of some colors. So uh, let's get started now shall we? and we're going to open up Photoshop Elements 2018 right there and we'll click on photo editor and there it comes up and we're going to go to file open and we're going to open this photo right here and there we go now this photo was sent to me by my friend Barb who lives in Aiken South Carolina it's a photo of one of her relatives daughters swimming with two dolphins and Barb asked me if I could remove uh, the diver that is swimming behind the girl in the foreground, which when I first looked at the picture, I didn't even see that diver. So we already have our zoom tool here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click, hold, and drag over this area to enlarge it and then release the mouse. So here we go. Click, drag, and you can see the dotted lines going over the area to get the spot we want to look at and now we'll release and here's our diver so the diver is actually the easy part of this photo and what we're going to do is we're going to get the lasso tool and lasso around this now let me tell you why uh, you might ask couldn't we also use the uh, healing brush tool well yes and no the problem with the healing brush tool <coughs> pardon me, is when you start to color an area for it to heal, it looks at the pixels outside of that area and it duplicates them. It takes an average of all the pixels that are around it to fill the area that you've selected that you want brushed away. So that becomes a real problem when we get over here to the edge of the girl's bathing suit because it would be averaging those pixels in as well. So what we need to do with the diver is isolate him. And we're going to isolate the diver by drawing around him with the lasso tool. So let's go get the lasso tool right here. That's a letter L, by the way. And we're going to just start right here. Now, we don't have to be careful around the edges here because, I mean, it's nothing but water outside. So we can, we can just go really rough. Boom, 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 boom. All the way down until we get to here. And now's the fun where we have to try to follow a line. So I'm just going to put the pointer there. And we'll just kind of just go real easy. And now we'll come on up. Whoops, there we go. Go around, just, just go slow. Move your mouse real gentle. And we'll come around to here. And we'll go to there. And we'll come up to here. And we'll go up to here, to the very tippy top of the bathing suit. Boom, 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 boom right to there and now we'll come over here and as soon as we reach the starting point well it should have I didn't see a there 
There we go. Anyway, all right. So now we have this area selected, which means it's also protected. It means we can go over the edges without coloring anything outside the selection piece. So what we're going to take now is we're going to go over here and we're going to get the cloning tool. And that's right here, which is, well, they call it the clone stamp tool here. I call it just the client cloning tool. So we'll get that and get that with the S key. And now we have to pick an area that we want to clone from. And we're just going to clone from the water here, over here to the outside. So let's just, and the first thing you got to do is you position your mouse from the area that you want to clone from. You hold down your option key and click. And now you go over to here and you will see, and the cursor tells you where it's cloning from. Okay? And it's getting a little close to our selection area, so we want to be careful there. All right, so we just go in here like that. Now, let's let's select a new area because we want to go in a little deeper. So I'm going to push it there, hold down my Option key, click, come over to here, and now there we go. All right, now watch what happens. See, I'm right alongside, but because we've got it isolated with our lasso tool, it's not copying onto the girl's bathing suit. Now we gotta be careful, there we go. See, we can get right those cl close tight edges without a problem, not a problem at all. So now we're gonna go up here and we're going to, uh, eh, let's take it right here, shall we? Click, and now we'll go down in here get rid of that and now since we've already copied in water from elsewhere even though the cursors inside the area it's not a problem because it's copying what we've already put in there which is what we want anyhow okay there we go and I think we're just about done there we go Oh, we get a little too much there. Hold on. Click. And we'll just fix that real quick. There we go. All right. Now, all we do now is we deselect. And you can go up here to the menu bar and hit deselect. Or you can just hit the keyboard command, which is command D, which is what I like to do. And boom, there's the area. Now, the other half is we, we got a couple of rough spots here. Let's smooth them out. And this time we will use the spot healing brush. We'll get a nice big one like that. And we're just going to go like this. Boom. And there you go. And now the water looks smooth. Maybe get a little bit here. There we go. And you'd never know the diver was ever there. Okay, so let's get our zoom tool. I'm sorry. Z, Lee, <laughs> it's a Z. Okay, uh, Z is the magnifying glass, which for some reason I don't see in the toolbox, but just remember you're zooming in or zooming out, so just hit the letter Z on your keyboard. Now it wants to magnify in to go out. You hit, hold down the option key, it changes to a minus. And, oh, here's the zoom tool down here. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find it in the toolbox. Okay, so we'll hold down the option key and we'll press click, click, click. And now the thing that Barb hadn't noticed that I did notice, let me just click all the way out. Boom. All right, you see all these spots here? that are in the picture. Do you know what those are from? Well, the camera taking the picture is in a plastic box and there are spots on that box. <laughs> so to me, they're distracting. So we're going to get rid of them. Uh, this, I guess, is a, some kind of underwater surfboard. I guess we'll leave that in unless somebody asks me to take it out, in which case we just do the same trick that we did with the diver. But right now we're gonna focus on the spots and I'm going to magnify that out a little bit so we can start working on them. And we're going to get our spot healing tool brush. And we're going to go to work. And there we go. Click. And click. Click. And this is the time consuming part of working on this photo right here. Because there's a lot of spots on this plastic 
uh, box holding the camera, the underwater camera. So there we go. Get rid of that. Uh, there, there. And notice I just point it over it and click and let go. Point, click, hold, let go. In some cases, if they're a little bigger than my circle, uh, I'll, I'll just paint with it. You know, like right here. There you go. See? Boom. We can get rid of both of those. Boom. And there, and there, and there. And we'll keep going down to here. And we're going to be busy for a while because there's a lot of spots in this. Don't get in a hurry, though. Remember, this is a picture that you want to keep. So if it's a picture you want to keep, you want to make it look as pretty as possible. So just take your time. Keep finding all the little nasty little spots and making them go away. There we go. There we go. And, of course, the more you click them away, the more you end up seeing, because then the others start being prominent, which is always fun. All right. Here's another one right there. All right, so let's see what else we got. There's one right there on a dolphin. There we go. Just very carefully remove them. Now, let's see. Oh, there's some over here. Now, that I'm going to leave. Because I'm not sure if that's actually a spot or a coloring on the dolphin. That's definitely some coloring. We'll go over to here. All right, another spot, another spot. Here's a bigger spot. Bigger spot bigger spot actually when you're down in in this area and there's nothing else you can hit you can use your right bracket key to make your healing brush larger there we go that's right bracket right bracket right bracket right bracket so you get a bigger area but even with this one you gotta there we go see and yeah, we can get through there like that and get these and this one and that one and that one and there we go. And here. And there's a whole line of them. There we go. Boom. Got those out. I think there's one there and there and there. All right. Keep on trucking. All kinds of gunk on the plastic that's uh, wrapped around this camera. There we go. Make all the nasty little spots go away. There we go. And that looks like a spot right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the zoom tool. I'm sorry. Z, lazy. Boom, 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 boom. And now we'll go back to our spot healing brush tool and that's way too big for the area so we're going to use the left bracket to shrink it down a little so we don't touch the actual golf dolphin's tail and we'll go around like that boom 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 release and a little bit of stuff right there fine goodbye all right so let's go back to our zoom tool and we're going to uh pan outward and we'll go back let's get our brush tool up oh, make it a little larger there we go that was the bracket key right bracket key for enlarging it and it's looking pretty good right now isn't it and maybe this spot right here how's that there we go and we'll get our hand tool and drag the photo up and it looks like we're starting to make progress here. We're there, got to have trouble keeping track of the mouse. All right, I'm going to get a right bracket and enlarge that because we got a lot of big spots down here. So here we go. We'll get that one. We'll get these here. There we go. See, you can paint, but you, you just press, hold, and, and drag is how you paint with the brush. Okay? And... Get that big bloody thing out of there. There we go. Uh, here we go. 
Okay. And down here where everything's the same, you don't have to be quite so so careful. There we go. I'll get that out. There we go. Here. And there. And there. Get that out. Boom. 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 There we go. And we're almost done. We're getting a little close here to the tail, so I want to uh, zoom in again. So we'll get our zoom tool by hitting the uh, Z key or going down and picking it up here in the toolbox. And you could hit the minus here, or I, as I like to do, just hold down the option key and it turns to a mi or minus. Oh, wait a minute. We want to go plus, don't we? We want to magnify. Okay, let's, let's just drag over that area. There you go. Now you can see these spots. We'll get our brush uh, healing brush I keep forgetting it's called healing brush okay so obviously we need a smaller brush at this point to get these smaller details there we go boom 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 got that doesn't look too bad in here be honest the uh, thinness of the circle around our healing brush Makes it hard to see on this blue background, but there we go. I think we've gotten everything there. Let's go back to our zoom tool, and we'll zoom out this time. And looks like we've got a few more spots over in here. So I'll hold down the space bar, move over, get our... It's J is the uh, keyboard command there. You can see that for using the spot healing brush. So let's just try J. There we go. And enlarge the brush with the right bracket. There we go. There we go. There we go. And There we go. I got a little brave on that one because it was so close in. This looks like a... Oops. That left a scar. We don't want scars. There we go. All right. So, zoom tool. Hold down the option key to zoom out. Take a look. All right. We see a few more up here. So we'll hold down the space bar to drag the image around. We'll hold, hit the J key for our healing brush. And now we need a bigger healing brush. So it's right bracket, right bracket, right bracket. There we go. All right. A lot of spots on this image. Lots of spots. But we're going to take care of that. And the healing brush, it does such a nice job. As I said, it, it takes a look at the pixels outside the area that you're selecting and averages them together. It just fills it in so naturally, most people can't tell if the picture's ever been edited. Let's shrink this down a little bit. There we go. Okay, go back up. Maybe get that one there. A little bit of a smidge there. And it's looking pretty good, folks. Let's hit our space bar, move the picture around, see if we can find any more spots that we missed. Ah, oh, here's a couple over here on this side. All right, right bracket, right bracket. Boom, 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 boom. A couple over here. And like I said, the more you erase these bad boys, uh, the easier it's going to become to see the others that you didn't at, see at first that will be distracting afterwards, trust me. Because when you end up with a picture this clean, any little thing is going to be a distraction. So you try to get them all out. There 
There we go. And I think we've just about got this bad boy spot free. Yeah, there we go. All right. That's a water reflection, so I'm just going to leave that in there. We don't want it to look too bland now, do we? And we're looking across the top. I don't see much in the way of spots up in here. Just a couple itty-bitty ones. And there we go. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What do you think? I think it's looking pretty darn good. Last check. There's one here. A renegade. One there. And hold down that space bar to get the hand tool to drag the picture around. By golly, I'd say we're in good shape. Yeah, maybe that one right there. Okay, so we'll get our zoom tool and we're going to zoom out. And there's the whole picture. We've got our diver gone. We got our spots gone. But you know what? The picture looks so hazy because it's underwater. Let's see if we can do a little more with this. Let's go up here to the menu bar to enhance. Okay, and let's go to Auto Haze Removal. Watch this. Boom, look at that. See, took the haze out and it gave it a much better watercolor. Now let's see what else we can do here. Let's try Auto Color Correction. Let's see what that does. Uh, I don't know. I think that's a little too purpley. What do you think? Uh, let's try adjust color. Let's try uh, adjust hue saturation. That's really what we want. All right, so we got that. Come on. Let's put it over here where we can see it. And let's see. We got a little purple in there. What? Master, let's go to the... blues and we're going to ooh look at that I kind of like that I really do so we just bumped up the saturation on the blues a little bit and we got some deep blue water and we got some good dolphins and at this point, I'd say we're done. So we're just going to do a save as uh, avian with dolphins. We're just going to call it dolphins 05. Okay, and we'll save it on the desktop. We'll say maximum 12. We'll click OK. And at this point, we're ready to end this video. So what do you think? Learned a few things this time, huh? All right. Hope to see you the next time around when we show you some other little tricks and tips in Photoshop and Photoshop elements.